the Supreme Court decided to stop this execution and ordered a hearing just for the first time in 50 years. Why do why you think with this case? I, I think it's very clear. I think some of these justices are very concerned that an innocent person is about to be executed. We get so tired of hearing Troy Davis didn't get a fair trial. He had a fair trial. The defense comes up with some beautiful excuses that we have not heard at the original trial and later on. They're all focusing on Troy and not looking at what my father gave up. My father lost his life. I told him over and over that this is, I didn't see this happen. They put what they wanted to put in that statement. Twelve years later, we're supposed to believe that all of a sudden they all got out of bed one morning and said, oh my goodness, I can't live with myself any longer. I must tell somebody that I lied under oath at the trial. I don't think so. There should never be any doubt in the capital case because you can't go back and fix it. Reasonable doubt is what we're talking about in Troy Davis, not even anti-death penalty. Those with the moral responsibility to enforce the law can say, you know what, we have to do things that may be unpopular. It was unpopular to end slavery. It was unpopular to give women the right to vote. But sometimes you have to do unpopular things because that's what justice requires. I'm not going to give up on my brother. The system is going to change. 